Now, the Lagos State Youth Policy, which has been existing since 2016, has expired and as such, stakeholders have met to dialogue on the policy document which is subject to review. The process which started two months ago is continuing, but this time around the focus is on validation after the review meetings in Abesson and Ikorodu. According to the team leader of SPAR2 project of the Inspired Youth Network, the document has already been completed by the consultants, but the meeting is to ensure validation by young people and ensure that it speaks to their needs. Now, the youth policy is meant to serve as a guide on the six pillars to guide on activities on all areas affecting the youth. For the state government, it says that the youth policy is timely as it works in continence with the policy direction of the Themes Plus agenda. Uh, the, the youth policy, like I said earlier, is just like a Bible that guides the operations of uh, the all youth focused organizations and the ministry in Lagos State. It is a guideline that shows what we are expected to do as a, as a, as a youth worker and the expectation of the youth in Lagos State. It's a framework that guides our operation. All youth workers in Lagos State, irrespective of, irrespective of, uh, irrespective of where you are coming from. Of course, um, we shouldn't give up hope that our government is not doing anything and then we just relax. What is the effort we are also making? So after this um, policy has been reviewed, it is our duty as young people of Lagos State to also push forward, advocate for the implementation of this policy. It is not about just writing policy. It is about how, how well are we going to use this policy. So it's not left for them alone. It's also for us to create awareness, advocate, you know, talk more, speak around it, make it accessible to us. It's not a document that you just have and then throw uh, in your house, but it's something we have to always engage. So these are stakeholders that we brought together to identify some of the pillars that they feel young people, that should be the focus of young people moving forward in the new legal statute policy. So uh, at that meeting, they came up with different commendations, different recommendations. They came up with different suggestions that has to do with youth development in Lagos State. And as a technical working group member, we deem it fit to organize another stakeholders meeting so that we can validate some of the recommendations made during the first stakeholders meeting. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.